Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is a Telly Tuesday. Woo woo! Without the Telly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, make sure you guys check out our podcast. Uh, today we have Tim Pierce, one of our store favorites, and just an overall great guy, one of the best guitar players. Played on too many records that I can even count. Um, so he's on our podcast today. Um, and also, Norm leaves tomorrow to Texas for the guitar show. So we're going to have a whole new batch of guitars coming our way. It seems like it's every other week he does this, I swear. I'm always like, where are you going? And then, you know, but hey, you guys are buying and and, and looking at the guitar, so we got to make sure we have them for you. Um, but other than that, this is one of Norm's favorite guitars. He calls it a sleeper. Come on back. Let's check it out. So this is a 1962 Epiphone Coronet. Mm -hmm. I love these guitars. I really do. The one pickup one. Okay. Yeah. So it's got the one P90. Um, one of the best pickups, I think, in the business. Um, just a great, great organic sound um i really like them with a little bit of overdrive um they break up just perfectly um and then this guitar actually when they started this kind of style was in 1960 that's when they went to the p90 pickup and they went to a thinner body and they kind of rounded the edges it kind of had like a telly kind of more block kind of body to it um there's got the three per side headstock, which is cool. Later on, they went to the Batwing headstock, but we still have the Batwing pickguard, um, which is really cool. Um, and then you also have, uh, let's see here, one and 11 sixteenths nut width. Um, just a clean guitar, though, actually. Yeah, there's a little marks down here, but if you think about it, since 1962, it's pretty clean. Got a wraparound tailpiece, um, which is later they also had uh, Maestro bars, um, but this guitar is usually the more desired one. Um, but what's best about these guitars to me is, like I said, just kind of organic rocking. It's almost like to me, you know, I'm a big Eddie Van Halen fan. It's almost like this was kind of like an idea in that kind of realm with the one pickup, just in the bridge. Obviously, he had a humbucker, but even the body style kind of, it's closest thing i've seen out in the epiphone and gibson party to kind of like a strat um which i think makes it very playable and another thing to understand too is that gibson bought epiphone in the 50s so this is pretty much gibson made this is made in kalamazoo um all the parts same p90 pickup that you find on a gibson same body parts so this thing rocks and a lot of people don't know about them um they get a little uh afraid because it says epiphone on top of it but epiphone um was really competing with gibson at the time and that's why they had to take them over um but there's a good reason this guitar is a great one so we're gonna go out front and show you what it's got it's got one pickup or we'll do two songs two three songs let's go and see what we got okay let's do it all right we're out front with the 1962 epiphone coronet and cherry finish one of my favorites, one of Norm's favorites. Uh, we're going through the 1966 Fender Pro Reverb. All the cues of noon, a little bit of verb. And uh, we got to turn it up so we can crank it a little bit. Here we go. I'm gonna do it medley, because we only have one pickup, one P90 here, so here we go. Thank you. 
There you have it. Your 1962. Two. Two. <laughs> 60 Q. There you go. Now you know I've lost it. 1962 Epiphone Cornet and Cherry Finish. You can check out these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. Just a great plug in and play guitar. Um, and don't forget, Norm's going to that guitar show this week, so we got plenty more coming through. See you guys tomorrow for a Wacky Wednesday. Bye.